Jason wants to know, who do you ask when you have life or business questions? Jason, this is my strength and my weakness, and so I want to set that up immediately. I ask absolutely nobody. It is insane. Uh, I, I think about this all the time, and I truly, and you know what? It's funny, subconsciously I said it's my strength and my weakness, so I guess maybe that answers my 5149 question of is it a strength or a weakness? I do think about it a lot. I, I do. Uh, I do wonder why I'm not really mentored out, even with the most amazing dad who was in the business. You know, I, uh, you know, I, I was mentored. I, you know, and maybe this is just the way I roll. Maybe I'm being mentored by example. You know, I think my parents. My parents. You know, it's funny. I'm gonna be a different parent, I think, uh, and like sit down with my kids and do my spiel. I mean, I love doing this. Imagine me as a dad and like kid. When the wind blows, the blow, you know, I'm just gonna like, you know, do shit like that. You know, like, uh, I, I never really went that route. I, I watched my parents, um, and maybe I watch other people, and I, and, you know, Steve Ross, who's my LP and, and, and an investor partner now, one of the most successful businessmen of the last hundred years in the US, you know, I have full access to him at a scary level, and I don't hit him up for like, what do you think, and this is a guy who's, owns a football team, you know, five billion dollar man and I never sit down and ask him, I'm like, let me tell you, <laughs> like, like it just, it's just, it's in me, it's, a, it's, again, it's either a strength or a weakness but the true answer to the question is absolutely nobody. I, uh, I, I'm a big believer that people should see uh, psychiatrists and, and vent and like do that. I don't do that even though I believe in it tremendously. I don't think I'm a hypocrite because the truth is, it's stunning. And by the way, if I ever go through a path, if I had, if I ever went through a sustained 36 hour period of being really upset, I would do it in a heartbeat, I would change my behavior, but I am so scared and so blessed and so thankful and so grateful for the perspective that I have as a human being, which is you just can't wrap your head, my friends, Vayner Nation, you just cannot wrap your head around the excitement that I would have in my body if all the things on paper that seem like my successes would disappear tomorrow. Obviously I want to take care of my family and put a roof over their head and those kind of things but you do not understand my lack of taste for caviar. Like I just don't give a shit. Like I love the game. You know why I love the Jets and the Knicks? Because they don't win. You, do you understand? And so for me the fear of failure is not a fear at all. As a matter of fact I would argue that I have more fear for success than I have fear for failure and so um, um, because of that, I, I don't know, it puts me in a very happy place. I, uh, I don't look for advice because the truth is I don't want to screw anything up. Like I don't go and speak to somebody to vent because I, I don't want to screw anything up. Like I feel like the chemicals are aligned right now. I'm very happy. I'm super duper duper happy.